So thus far, we have uh, virtually prepped the model and uh, positioned the crowns. Now, here is our proposal. And one thing I want to note is that getting a good proposal is the key to the beginning of a good design. The computer, it wants to give you good proposals. You just have to set it up in a way that allows the computer to do that. The computer has predetermined two shapes, and usually they're pretty ideal. It's just, um, you know, sometimes when things aren't done uh, properly before the edit element phase, uh, that's when bad proposals come into play and the computer is, you know, confused. But uh, these are some really nice proposals. This is right out of the positioning phase. And, um, you know, to, to prove this, I'll actually go back again to the positioning phase, go back into the edit element phase. Uh, well, yeah, I don't think we, we're going to be able to recalculate everything. But, um, you know, this is a very impressive proposal. There's obviously asymmetries that are pretty noticeable, like within the, you know, centrals and Whatnot, but after I get this designed, I'll then um, go into another clip, which will, you know, that'll be coming up next. Um, but stay tuned. This is, I have a feeling this is going to be a really nice wax up. Everyone, so here is the completed design. I'm very happy with the result. Uh, took a little bit longer than expected, but, um, you know, nonetheless, we got it done. Uh, and here's just a overall, you know, 360 view of what we've got. Like I said, extremely happy with this. So uh, all we've all we've done is uh, replaced or virtually prepped the the previous teeth. Uh, we marked our margins and positioned everything and designed it. Now from here, uh, we're gonna go over to, oh, another thing to note, whenever you're doing a, a wax up in, whether it be an, in, well, it would be an inline. Whenever you're doing a wax up though, uh, you'll definitely wanna make sure that these contacts are all green. Because if they're not, when you go to virtually seat and create that model, the software, it almost separates the teeth when there's a red contact there. It, it compensates for that contact and kind of brings things, uh, you know, out of contact, but in a not so desirable way. So make sure it's green so the software doesn't touch any of your interproximal contacts when you virtually see. Hope that made sense. But uh, I mean, like I said, everything is just dialed in on this wax up. Super, super thrilled with the results. But, uh, Let's carry on. After we've got that complete, we're then gonna, gonna go over here. I'm gonna save just so nothing gets lost. And next thing we're gonna do is click insert all. And should instrument geometry be considered? Nope, because nothing's being milled. So now we're in our second layer. Go over to model, upper jaw, and this thing is ready to export. I mean, this is just tremendous. How amazing this design turned out. I'm usually my worst critic and I'm just very happy with the result of this. If you guys have any feedback on the design, if you guys would change anything, please let me know. Maybe, maybe just some, uh, Asymmetry right here in the centrals. Maybe this one's a little bit wider. Yeah, it might be. Might be, may go back and, and fix that, but for the sake of this video, we'll carry on. After this, go over here to apps. We're gonna transfer over to InLab model 18. From there, we're gonna clean up the model uh, and get this thing printed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, glad that I was able to record it and share it with you guys. If you have any feedback, please uh, comment. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, like the video, all of the above. I will catch you guys later.